In today's video, my intergalactic friends, we're going to talk about the mining. So we've talked about the planet mining previously, but this time with the newest update, um, you know, Infinite Galaxy have made mining a lot easier. And also I've read some of the issues on Facebook that there's been some uh, concerns about mining. So we're going to talk about that here today. Now, if you guys want to know more about mining in Infinite Galaxy, more about the game guides and everything, if you haven't created a YouTube account yet, consider creating one, subscribe to the channel, and turn your notification on. And if you find this video to be very helpful, consider giving us a fist bump by giving us a virtual like. So that's an equivalent of fist bump to me because then I get to see, hey, Shin, you're doing a great job. Here, press a like. All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about the newest update that they have done. So previously, if you search in your um, star system, you're only going to find the mining or the asteroids that are in the star system there. Now they have changed the mechanics of the game to where if I search for level 6 asteroids, so as you can see right now, we are in 9044. So I'm going to go and search one in here. Now I am in 9087. Now the question is, where did I go? I need to look into here. This is a TIK Alliance outpost. So something that I want that the game could optimize in here is that if it is a Alliance outpost or a friendly or an enemy, that they should definitely indicate here. As you can see, this should definitely indicate as a blue or maybe green or whatever that they decide. It should be blue because we're marked as blue. Should be a blue symbol here that's saying that this is a TIK Alliance outpost that you are safe to farm in here. So that's just a quick navigation that they can do. So, um, you know, they've changed it up on all of this in here, even for the planet mining. So if I'm looking for it, honestly, I like it. The planet mining is pretty much going to be an Alliance thing anyway because you can't really farm. Oh, wow, level eight. Uh, yep. We're going to go mine that. Why am I not mining that? We're going to go over there. We're going to mine that one. But you see how easy it is now with this new update. Um, so the concern that people have mentioned that I've seen is that sometimes that whenever they're searching for like a comet or an asteroid, it would be landed into an enemy or something like maybe a neutral alliance and they are going to get taxed. Now, I think that's an issue for a smaller alliance compared to bigger alliance. Because like for us, we have a lot of room. You know, if you look into your, actually, I'm going over to the edge in here. Um, we have a lot of room in here. So I haven't had that issue to where I accidentally farm in a neutral area where, or, you know, in an area where it wasn't in our union where I got taxed. Now, um, Camel Games have actually asked for my feedback. I'm actually going to tell them that they should definitely have like indicator if it's, uh, you know, your alliance, your union, or it's an enemy. Because as you can see in here, this is the union outpost. Uh, there is no indication in here that this is a union outpost. So we need to suggest that. And um, honestly, I like the feature in here. It makes it a lot easier. Now, what they need to do is prioritize. Um, they need to prioritize, you know, um, you know, your alliance first, then union, and then neutral, and then the enemy. So I think there should be a hierarchy, a sequence on how it's going to be. Now, let me give you guys some tips in here when you are doing mining in the space. In the previous video, we've talked about mining in the planet. This is a totally two different category. Mining in space and mining in planets is going to be different. So these asteroids, these comets, um, and as well as the plasma gas, since it's a gas, it's, it's really not in a comet or in an asteroid. What you need to understand, there's certain different flagships that really works well for that. So if we go into spaceport and we'll go into the flagship right now. For Achilles, this flagship is really great at planet mining. As you can see, there's this planet development, right? We've talked about this before in the previous video. If you haven't seen it, you're missing out. So go and check out our previous videos. Planet mining developments, it says planet development wordings in here will only work in the planet and is not going to work in a space. So asteroids, comets, or gas. But this will help you when you are mining in space, all resource gather speed. But that's not going to help for planet mining based on my understanding. Only this, only understand in here is that planet uh, does not have a mining speed. Planet has a fixed speed, but um, the production is the thing that you can increase per hour. So 
for mining, you can increase you know the gather speed up. So if you see anything that is gather speed up, that is going to be mining in space. So same thing with Peleus because that's pretty much the same uh, flagship as Achilles. So if you look into Jason or Argo, you're not going to see a skill here that is going to talk about planet mining. So if you're using Jason and Argo on planet mining, then you're doing it incorrectly. Jason is definitely just a you know flagship that is going to be mining in the space on those asteroids and comets and you know the plasma gas. So if we look into Argo, which which is right here, Argo, right? It is going to be gather speed up. There's no planet mining in here. Now let's go into the crew. This is very helpful because a lot of players are making these basic noob mistake. And you know what? I'm going to tell you, when I first started, I didn't understand all that stuff too. So that's okay. So this is why we create videos. We create this YouTube video for free here for you guys so that you guys can understand, educate. And of course, my goal here is that you guys are enjoying the game. And you know, if you're successful, I become successful because then you're watching our content consistently and enjoying and just learning a lot of stuff in here. So let's go into the crew formation. I have my mining crew right now. So there's a few things that we need to understand. Logistics is the mining setup. So if you boost your logistics for your farm accounts, this is then going to help you with mining on planets and as well as on space. So mining on space, as you can see this one, this is a titanium gather speed up, deuterium gather speed up that is crucial. This one is going to be for planet. So that's not going to help if you're mining in space. This again is a planet one, it's not going to help you for there. So um, there's also certain crew in here. This is a planet development. Bolt is a planet development. But if you look into Greg Lee, this is going to be all resource gather speed. So this is going to help you with mining in the space. So there's a few more miners in here that I think I've removed some of them maybe. I need to optimize it again. Um, but those are the stuff in here that is going to help you. So here, another miner that is going to help you in the space. Um, this is Trek Wagner. This is going to be rapid mining gather speed, 13.6% for me. I'm really close to finishing that up. Now, I highly would not recommend for you guys to reset these or to do a reclaim because these crew has such a great value when it comes to resources. Imagine this, if you're a spender and you can spend less in resources and, you then, and then you can spend more on other things like flagship or speed ups or crew, you know, crew blueprints, um, you know, other stuff in your core module, then it's going to help you with your spending and it's going to make your uh, power a lot stronger that way. Now, another thing in the core module, and I've talked about this previously, um, for planet mining, you really go here straight up into the middle because this is going to give you 40%. It's insane. It's only one. Now, again, in here is going to tell you specific um, resources that you can gather with, you know, speed up in here. As you can see, the Ethereum gather speed up. This is not going to help you for a planet mining. It's only going to help you with space. Now, this one is going to help you for planet mining. Um, again, this is space. This is planet mining, and then um, this is going to be the nickel in space, not planet. Then if you go for this one, then it's going to give you a planet bonus in here. So just understand, if it's planet, the planet is a production rate. It's not about mining. Just understand that the mining, like the asteroids and comets and the gas, they have a fixed number, and that fixed number is up to you to gather that as fast as you can. But the mining in the planet it's going to be based on your load so if you have a lot of load and then uh you can you know collect as much as you can fill your load but then you can improve the buff of the planets by increasing the production rate so uh a good example in here let's go into space in here and go to this one as you can see this is the fixed number if you go into details you can see that it has a reserves so that reserves I'm able to gather all of that. I'm going to capture all that reserves in here. So this is my gather speed in here. I can also increase that if I want. Now, if I go into the planet mining, I can go into details in here. As you can see, it's a totally different picture. There's no reserves. So um, the planet itself is producing this amount of um, plasma. So this is roughly about 32.K plasma per hour. And it's going to take me about for you know let's just say five hours so 33.2 times five basically is going to give me 166k uh of uh resources in here 
So that's the differences between the mining in the planet and mining in the space. So you have to understand that. And you know, at first it's a little bit challenging, it's a little bit difficult to understand, but honestly, I think in this video we try to explain things as, you know, as basic as it can because it's easier to understand it that way. So just understand there's two different things, two different buffs. So here's my recommendation for spenders and for free to play. If you are a spender and if you worked on Achilles in here with the planet mining bonus, um use only him to do your mining for planets because you get more per hour. Do not even do two flagship mining. Just wait for this one to finish and then go and finish the next next set just with the same flagship. But if you're free to play and you're not really spending on to Achilles, then definitely get Peleus for that instead because this is going to help you with the planet mining instead. But the way I'm doing things, just to give you an example, um, I only use Achilles for planet mining and I use Peleus, Jason, and Argo for um, mining in the space. So I make sure that only Achilles go into planets because I have a big planet mining boost in here. Besides that, if you find this video to be helpful, let me know in the comment section below. Just give us a thumbs up as well on here and just, yeah, give us some feedback, something that, you know, you guys have concerns about how they can improve the game as well with the planet, with the search function of the, um, you know, the game for the, for the minings. So just give us some information. We definitely love to hear from you. Don't be a silent watchers. We love your interaction here in this channel. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys again next time.